When they ask for your number, do you give it out? What's the wildest thing you've seen? If you want to be a bottle girl, what should you do? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Real Sierra Monday, and I'm back with another video. So y'all, y'all been telling me to stay consistent. So I'm on my job. I'm on my grind. It's about to be 2022. We got to get to it. We got to have videos going every day. Period. So I said I was gonna do videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I just uploaded a video Tuesday. So make sure y'all go watch that video that I did. Me and Bentley, um, we did a pumpkin carving contest. So keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting, whatever. My video that I'm doing today is kind of for the girls, but it's whoever wanna watch it, but it's definitely for the girls, okay? So a lot of girls been asking me to do a bottle girl Q&A. So a lot of y'all know that I used to work in a strip club. Um, I wasn't a stripper. <laughs> no offense to the strippers. Yeah, I love the strippers. Yeah. I wasn't a dancer though. I was a bottle girl in a strip club. So I quit in that industry. So I'm gonna give y'all a rundown on why I stopped working in that industry, why I stopped being a bottle girl, whatever. And I'm gonna just give y'all tips on how to become a bottle girl if you're trying to, what to expect. A lot of questions that I get. So I'm gonna be reading off my computer so let's get it question one um it's really not a question but it just say pros and cons on um, being a bottle girl so pros i would say you make money another one is you can network when you're in a club so you might see celebrities you might see like you know different kind of artists whatever whatever and you'll be able to network by just knowing how to really like talk and like run game and stuff so another thing is meeting girls that you'll become very close with um at work and stuff you'll build a bond with the girls another thing is being cute like being able to style your uniform up um have your hair cute do your makeup have your body showing have your figure showing whatever however you want to do it like that's your time to shine because that's what plays a part in your money so presentation is like highly recommend you have to like you have to it's a lot of other things but i can't really think of them right now um cons is disrespect i'm not gonna say you have to know how to handle disrespect but you have to know how to handle situations like that because nobody is gonna let somebody just disrespect them like flat out no don't matter where you work okay exactly two counterfeit money i'm not gonna say this is a con but if you don't know money you're gonna miss it because you got to know what is counterfeit and what's not because when people go to the club, it be cheap folks in the club, trust me. They'll give you counterfeit or whatever. You got to check that money before you walk off because you don't want no funny business going on. And then once you run it to wherever you're going and they got that counterfeit and they register or something, it's going to fall back on you. So just, you know, be careful with that kind of stuff. Another thing is dudes like feeling on you that's another thing that come with disrespect like people feel obligated because you work in the club that you just that they can just feel on you and touch you and talk to you however you want like mm -mm. one thing about it don't go for it don't go for it. none of that it's cool you know it's cool to flirt and stuff but just don't let no man or even a female think they can approach you a certain kind of way because you a bottle girl and you got your boobs showing your butt showing it like mm -mm. so yeah do you make a lot of money yes and no okay a lot of people think just because you're a bottle girl you make 
tons and tons and tons of money. You have your days where two or three days out the week, you make, you know, a certain amount of money and it's good money. But then you got them other select few days where you ain't make no money. Working in a club is really like a hit or miss. Like you gotta know how, you gotta know how to like be like, okay, cool, I didn't make money this time, but tomorrow I'm gonna run it up. But it's not that you gotta just have a motivation. So don't just go and try to work in a club and think you're gonna be getting paid thousands and thousands of dollars each night. It's hit or miss. So when they ask for your number, do you give it out? I used to get them a fake. So Google or get a text free number or something and give it to them. And if they try to text you right in there or something like, and it seem green or something, just say like your phone dead or something. Don't pull out your phone, but just say your phone dead or something. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> so that's how I used to get my money for real because I'm just going along with it because I'm at work. They don't know that when they give me the money and I go home, I'm going back to my men's. <laughs> but <laughs> what's the wildest thing you've seen? The wildest thing I've seen working in the club is a female getting fingered. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Legs open, trunk. It was disgusting. It was gross. It was nasty. It was crazy. Do you have to know how to flirt? Definitely. You can't be too stiff because working in a club, you can't be mean looking and bougie and stuck up. Like it's cool to like play hard to get so that they can really be like, oh, like, yeah, I'm fucking with her. I'm gonna give her this or whatever. But don't just be rude and nasty because then they ain't gonna wanna spend no money on you and you just gonna miss your opportunity. Were you shy when you first started versus how it started going? Um, yes. In the beginning, I was really shy. Um, I didn't start at a big club like where I ended up at. I started at like a lounge, like a hookah lounge, and it was still even like a challenge because it was a lot of people at a certain point. Like on the weekdays, it'll be cool because I'll be able to manage like, maybe like three tables, three, four tables to myself and then just have, you know, footwork coming in at this time, this time. And then if the customers would just stay there and order whatever and you just, you know, keep making sure they're okay. When the weekends came though, like Friday and Saturday, it was still kind of hectic for me being just in a hookah lounge because it's a lot of people that come in and out of there so they was getting up buying this ordering this ordering this splitting tabs running out like it was a lot so that was a challenge for me but i made it through and i just kept going because i knew how to talk to people i knew how to handle my customers keep coming back making sure that it was good how it was going for me once i left there and went to a bigger club and started seeing celebrities and you know all these different rappers and stuff I don't know. It was kind of scary in the beginning for me. I was like, this club is so big. Like, it's super big. And it's so many people. Like, I'm scared to go up to artists and stuff. But then I had to just be like, you know, like, fuck it. Fuck it. You want to buy a bottle? Drink up. You want to buy another one? You want a Hennessy? You want a Cosmica? Yeah. Pouring up big shots. Making them drink all that liquor so they can buy another bottle. That's what you do. If you want to be a bottle girl, what should you do? If you're new and trying to get in the industry, I highly recommend going on Google and putting a list of clubs and lounges, hookah lounges, whatever, in your notes. I say go on a weekday because those are slow days. So I say put on something cute. Make sure you wear black because black complements your figure. Um, go to the lounges or the clubs or whatever, try to go holler at the managers, see if they hiring, you know, just talk to them, tell them like you really interested and trying to worry, you can start ASAP. Always make sure you can start immediately because if you'd be like, well, I can't start until next month, they're gonna be like, well, we don't need you. Like it'd be different girls in and out of clubs every day. So if one go, they want another one. If another go, they want another one. So that's how it works in that kind of industry. So if you're a slow learner, it's gonna be kind of hard to get hired anywhere because they're gonna feel like they're babying you. Like they have to watch you and 
watch everything that you do and clubs don't really want that because they want somebody who is quick on their feet quick with the money know what they're doing like it shouldn't take you more than if you knew it shouldn't take you no more than a week to really know what you're doing because you see so many girls like they um have you shadowing people when you first start so it's just like you gotta make sure you catch them quick do you upsell bottles if so how Great question for the finesse queen because listen, I'm gonna put a cap on everything. I don't give a damn if it's a Hennessy shot, baby. I'm putting a cap on it, okay? I gotta get my money because some people don't like the tip, but I mean, like, I don't put a major cap on it, but I will put a, a you know, a little. The tip so definitely upsell bottles definitely if you want your money like you feel me you gotta read people when you work in the club read honey not read <laughs> there's a difference yeah <laughs> can you be a bottle girl if your parents or your boyfriend is not for it i have a lot of talk with girls who are scared to do bottle service because of their boyfriends i really haven't heard people say anything about their parents because like at this big old age i mean if you're a bottle girl then you should be of age and your parents really shouldn't have no problem with that because you're not stripping and taking off your clothes or whatever you might show a little cleavage or whatever but that's normal anyways about the boyfriend part i've heard a lot of girls say that their boyfriends are not up for it a lot of that comes with trust. I feel like you just, your person has to be able to trust you because at the end of the day, that's how you make your money. So I mean, if that's a deal breaker, then that's just gonna be a deal breaker. But that's how you get your money. That's, that's your hustle, you know what I'm saying? So like, you can only respect it. As long as you're not in there, you know, doing too much, like being thirsty and getting all type of like numbers and giving them your numbers. Like as long as you ain't doing all that and you, in there about your money it shouldn't be no problem like i mean you should be able to do that what's the most i made i give y'all an example what's the most i made in one night for example all-star weekend when the club first opened up all-star weekend i made like twelve hundred dollars and that was my first time working in a big old club like this Anyways, I'm gonna get into why I'm not a bottle girl no more. I was just really over just being a bottle girl. Like, it was like the bad was outweighing the good. It was just like, it was so many bad days at that club. So I was just like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, celebrities would come in there and not tip. And then, like, it'll be slow days. We done had celebrities not show up, and you gotta, like, take your L and other folks making money. It was just a lot for me. So I'm just like, listen, I can't and I'm not doing this no more. Like I'm over the job. I'm over being in everybody's face. Tired of seeing motherfuckers. Tired of seeing new girls running in and out. I'm just over it. I'm over the loud music. Like I was feeling like an old person because I'm like, I'm just getting tired of this shit. So yeah, that's my story. That's what happened. Um. I don't know. I honestly say if you want to be a bottle girl, go for it. Just know it's a lot that comes with it. Everything is not all peaches and cream. How bottle girls make it seem, you know, just go in there with an open mind. Um, you know, take a lot of notes. But that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more Q&As. Comment below what other videos y'all want me to do. So, yeah. Thank you.